Success and failure. Sometimes those two things are very close to each other. Our T-50 tanks managed to get in behind the enemy lines and destroyed a lot of their valuable equipment. Until they ran into a battery of anti-tank guns and almost got wiped out. But that's war for you. Fates change all the time. Those were the thoughts in our heads when we prepared to defend the village of Sholkevshina against another relentless enemy assault. Hello there, and welcome to the next turn of our Typhoon Rising campaign and Gravity Team Tactics Mews Front. This time there won't be any mistakes like we had in the last episode, but let's go and end this dreadful turn and see what is left of our forces and what's happening on the battlefield. So, it is now 7 p.m. on the 30th of September 1941. By the evening of September the 3rd, due to the deep breakthrough of the German 4th Tank Division, the neighbor of the 10th Motorized Division on the right, no, Mortar Division, ha, huh, neighbor of the 10th Mortar Division to the right, in the village Kluglaya Poljana and to the rear of the group Ermakov, the 150th Tank Brigade began withdrawing into forests east of the village Lemeshovka. Okay, so historically this is how the situation looked. The Germans were breaking through the defensive lines and the 150th Tank Brigade with its units was starting to retreat towards the northeast. But that's not the situation that we find ourselves in here. It is looking a bit different for us. We have troops that are actually digging in, forming a defensive line. That's important for repairs. Very important. Okay, we are recovering some ammunition. That's good. That's very useful. And we are getting some reinforcements on the battlefield. They are getting ready. Good, nice. Okay. So this is the situation. Oh, where do you come from? Okay. More enemy units that we had previously routed, reformed behind the front line. That's starting to be an issue. There's a lot of them. I don't know how many men are alive in each of these formations. How big this threat really is, I cannot assess at this moment. I need to think about what I will do now and it depends very much on what my um, AI companions will do. Will they try to hold this defensive line or will they pull back and leave me alone here? That's one issue in campaigns where you are reliant on the AI. You cannot know what they will do. It's a big issue. Let me check something. How are our objectives looking? Uh, Ally force strength is at 85%. Damn. So we already lost 15% allied force strength. And we are not allowed to let this sink below 70%. Okay. Let's see what's left of our units that participated in the previous battle. This unit here, they are still looking okay-ish. Yes, they have taken some losses, especially this platoon here. You can see that, well, all the infantry squads are really depleted. Or in some other way, negatively affected. Yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of men in trouble. And I'm not sure how to alleviate this situation. What about you guys? Yeah, same here. They lost uh, a few trucks. This force here, they lost quite a few men. And are generally in a sorry state. I guess it's due to low ammunition. But what about our T-50s? These things took a beating last time. So, the command tanks they are okay. The second one lost a crew member, but is otherwise intact. The recon company, one squad of the recon company was basically almost wiped out. But here, here's the real kicker. 
So we have one T50 with light damage that can be repaired. We have another one that needs to be repaired in a repair shop. And we have one that was completely destroyed and abandoned. And in this platoon we have one tank with light damage that can be repaired and two tanks that are gone. Damn! So I lost three of my T50s. I have one that needs to be in a repair shop as soon as possible. This is bad. That's, that really complicates things. Let me, let me bring this unit forward. No, first I have to decide what I will do. Do I pull back or do I hold here? Everybody is entrenched now in this area. If the friendly AI keeps these positions, then I think we can defend. My T-34s, what about those? I think we still have one tank that's severely damaged. No? Did they manage to repair it? Or was it transferred to a repair shop? Anyway... The unit is basically... at full strength, apparently. So that's something. Sure it's not in a repair shop? Yeah, there is a tank here in the repair shop. What is it? A T-34 is here being repaired. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, they should have this thing up and running pretty soon. But let's bring this unit forward and let's hope that they can distribute some ammunition to the units. Because it is, it is difficult right now. You will go there, everybody else hold your ground. And let's hope, let's just hope that we can do this. What can the enemy do? They, these units of course can push towards this direction and block off the road. I, I'm hoping that my friendly AI will actually deal with these guys without me even being involved. That would be best. I'm debating whether I should take this unit and move them here to block off this road so that Oops, so that the enemy can't just go northwards. But I think... I think we'll stay, we'll concentrate our forces. Because if they attack here... Hmm, who knows what's gonna happen. Yeah, we'll leave them where they are. We'll leave everything as is, apart from this guy, he will move. And the repair units, I need to start moving them somewhere where they might be useful later on. Because right now they are not doing anything. Could try to move them close to the T-50s, but... Um, that's actually... It's risky. If I do that and they get intercepted by these guys, then I might lose the whole unit. And I still don't know what the friendly AI will do. So let me move them towards the north, along the road. And hope that these guys don't get to them. They will move up there. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're attacking again. That's a major attack incoming. We have a major attack incoming with at least two units that are still completely fresh. This here, that must be the AT gun unit. They are pretty decimated. This unit here, they also have already fought us and are therefore probably a little bit beaten up. And they moved two fresh units up. Where do they come from? How many do they still have? Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. But this time I have my T-34s. And they... They are known to cause quite some damage to the enemy. Let's see what we can achieve. Welcome to the battlefield. We are starting this immediately, so enjoy the last moments of brightness, because it is getting darker. As you can see, visibility is not good. Let's have a quick look at the weather report. Clear weather, but with a cloudy forecast. And, of course, with this 7pm 
So the sun is setting soon. We see the enemy launching a bunch of green flares. Those are signif... Okay, those... Those mean that they're gonna attack. And they're gonna attack in force. I have a lot of allies and... And they did not actually deploy where I expected them to deploy. It did look at this as if they wanted to defend the cemetery, but apparently they're not doing that. They're integrating into my defense, more or less, which is okay. I am focusing my defense on Jolkovshina here, making sure that the enemy does not take this town, this little village. And I have a lot of allies on the right flank. I hope that they can keep it stable. Oh, crap, I forgot you over there. Okay, you... Where are your units stationed? Here. You need to come to your man, dude. Uh, you will... Yeah, you will start to move to this position. Please don't get killed along the way. Actually, you're not the only one I forgot, apparently. Who are you? Oh, that's the company commander. Okay, I can move him, no problem. Get in your vehicle. And I'll get you moving down the road. Actually, uh, run to there, and the other guy that I forgot over here, he can join you in the truck. You can drive together. Get over there. Do it now. I have called in some mortar strikes, where I suspect enemy assembly points, and they apparently have called in an artillery strike on the village. That's bad. I hope this is not hitting anything important. I have my tanks stationed behind my own line, so to say. So that I can bring them up wherever it is required. One of the issues that I'm facing is that some of my units are running critically low on ammunition. And the enemy is using incendiary rounds here. Let me actually move these tanks a bit back just to minimize the chance of them being blown up by a stray artillery shell. It's better to be careful with these high-value assets. I have learned that from the last engagement. Yeah, that's close. And these incendiary shells, they can seriously harm a tank if they score a direct hit. Especially if they should score a direct hit on this small little armored car that I have. This thing is cute. Look at this thing. Isn't this nice? Oh, we have an engagement somewhere shooting at the cemetery. How did the enemy get this far ahead? Seriously, how did they get this far ahead? Okay, let me bring this armored car over. It can help to deal with these guys. Uh, move fast, please. Yeah. The armored car is perfect to contain such a little push, and I need to get these guys out. So, I think the transport by truck is out of the question. Uh, run. <laughs> Just run away. Oh, that's actually a lot of enemies in the cemetery. How did they get over there? That was not their deployment zone. Damn, that's a lot of enemies. And they have some guns. Okay, about that armored car might not be in my best interest to have that one so far front, then. Let's check, what kind of gun are they bringing? Anti-tank gun. Yeah, the armored car will have to be very careful. And I'm activating these two tanks to go and deal with this situation. This is, this is really bad, actually. How did the enemies get into the cemetery? If you look at this, 
it is definitely not in their deployment zone. There's no way for them to get here in five minutes. Less than five minutes, in four minutes. There simply isn't, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I just see that my friendly AI, they are issuing orders. Okay, and the, um, the retreating is starting. Yeah, being attacked from two sides, of course you're gonna retreat. Damn it. I really have to get in these tanks to avoid um, them surrendering, to be honest. They could just surrender. That's a lot of enemies that somehow made it into the cemetery. I am not pleased with this. Not at all. Okay, so a unit is moving from here to here into the cemetery. Okay. So the AI is moving this unit towards the cemetery. As a relief force. And that's good. More enemy contacts. And they have brought trucks along. So I guess we are up against a fresh bunch of enemy motorized infantry. How many of them are there? And the enemy has at least two anti-tank guns over here. Let's see if we can take a look at those. There it is. That could be a Pac-36. So a pretty small gun. Same here. I don't think those are 5cm guns. In that case, my T-34s are perfectly safe. We are getting contacts over on this flank as well. <gasps> are you kidding me? How many? How many enemies are there? Okay, this tank platoon is getting activated. They are moving in to attack. Mm -hmm. I want you in a line formation. I want you to go fast. Get over there. Start to help out that unit. Prevent the enemy breakthrough. Push them back. This is crazy. I did not expect so many enemies at this point of the battle. But this is definitely crazy. And flares are being dropped. That could actually be my own. Not sure. No, I don't think those are my own. My own should come down. Yeah, they are still a long while off. So these are probably enemy flares. Capture. Yeah, I'm losing units. They're being captured. Cut off. Because enemies managed to deploy in their back. Very curious how that works. But the tanks are now here. You two. You are free to engage. You drive up here. And you... Uh, you are gonna assist by driving up here and then we'll try to squeeze these guys in towards the middle Quick look on the map the AI is doing something again. Okay, they are holding their ground, but I don't know which unit um. <laughs> My t-34s are literally my only hope to contain this situation this is already going to crap. And I did tell these guys to hold their fire. You guys are not allowed to shoot at anybody. Because you'll get yourself spotted and engaged by machine guns. And you cannot compete with that. Guns. No, those are my own guns. Oh, okay. No reason to panic. That gun is engaging the enemy. That's good. And now these tanks here are starting to engage as well. Good. I need their firepower right now. 
Okay, I think these guys have made it to safety. I oh, will have to have them move towards their own troops in a moment. These guys, you free to engage. Start to squeeze them. Drive up and engage. I see that the enemy infantry is probably more or less in this area, so I can drive up pretty far forward and have my tanks engage them. Let's take a quick look at the situation over here. How does this look? This tank is useful where it is sitting now. I need to move it up to this road. Go there. This tank here is in a nice keyhole position. He is protected from the sides. He could actually drive up a bit. More enemy guns have been sighted. Okay, it's making things interesting. Uh, still looks like a pack 36 to me. So not a big issue. And they are under fire from, the uh, from my own allied infantry here. Who is bogged down? The armored car is bogged down. No, you're not. Reverse the car. Jesus Christ, this thing will be completely useless on this muddy battlefield, won't it? Notoriously undermotorized. Okay, these tanks, they will give the enemy something to think about. Yeah, he's not easily getting past those tanks. Come on, armored car, get yourself out of there. And you're also free to engage if anything should happen to be nearby. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's not going well. Okay, you are not precisely where I wanted you to be. You are still not in a position where you can be terribly useful. Drive up and support this infantry directly. Let's try to retake that cemetery. The situation on the left flank is looking stable enough. The tanks are holding the enemy off. Advance a bit. Actually, just to here will do. This tank can stay where it is to provide some cover. Ring fire, in case that should be required. Yeah, we need to... We need to send them more towards the right flank, I feel. Uh, the command tanks, where are you? Oh, this is them. I have three more tanks here standing by. I think I'll send them over. Let's go, guys. Enemies advancing towards the village. Not good. More allies retreating. Yeah, the attack towards the cemetery is faltering. Enemy resistance is far too great. I mean, look at all this crap. What is this? This is terrible. But okay, we'll just have to wear them down one by one. No biggie. You, you need to be with your man. So start walking. To here, and then you'll get in cover here. The company leader, you... You should start walking as well. And then you can go to cover somewhere, I don't know, here. I don't care. The truck, uh, I don't think we are recovering that. It's too far forward. Doesn't matter. It's just a truck. Oh, look at them all bunched up. Guys, have you some high explosive shells, please? Hit them. T-34s are just so good against infantry. 
drive up, drive closer. Drive to where you can really hit them. The enemy on the left flank should break soon enough, then we can redeploy those tanks. So then, yeah, I'm bringing three tanks over to this side. This one here is shooting, but don't bother shooting that far. That's not gonna help. Your ammunition is required over here. Somebody's launching a red flare. I hope it's the enemy. That would re uh, indicate that they are retreating. Which I would very much appreciate. Let's see if we can get you unstuck somehow. But I don't think we will... Jesus Christ. Actually, you're already down there. You might be able to push through now in forward gear. Uh, not enough command points. Definitely not enough command points. There we go. Try to push through the water now. There you go. There you go, little car. Well, what can you expect when you take what is essentially a small car or truck and you bolt on tons of armor? It's not gonna be too effective. We've taken some captives in the cemetery. That's good. There we go. But more units are retreating. Tanks, I need you up here with the units. But you are being engaged by the anti-tank gun right now. Okay. Shoot back, please. Return fire. There you go. Good job. Okay, the tank needs to deal with uh, the guns first. Once the guns are gone, the enemy will be in trouble. There are so many of them, it's insane. Okay, you are engaging towards the left. I actually do not want that. I want you to move up here towards the friendly infantry and to support them. Make sure they don't die. That's a lot of enemies. I did not expect this many enemies at this point in the campaign. I really didn't. This is insane. We won't be able to hold this village. We will have to withdraw at the next turn. We are not holding this. Not against this many enemies. We need a more favorable position somewhere. Okay, if possible, you two should engage the guns. stop missing. It must be hard to fight from such a tank in these light conditions. It's difficult to see anything. To distinguish them from foe. That has to be really nerve-wracking. Okay, he's shooting at that gun. I approve. Oh, that did look like a beautiful hit. Didn't it? Oh yeah, that thing is wrecked. That gun is gone. Glorious. fighting is still terribly fierce. How are my tanks on the left flank looking? They are decimating the enemy infantry. These guys are not having a good time. Should I push the tanks in and roll over them? Break them? Could be an idea. Tanks from the middle are still moving. Oh yeah, we have a T-26 here. Oh man, don't know what I'll do with you, probably the same that I'll do with the armored car. Park it somewhere and hope it doesn't die. 
Where can I use this? What is this? Is this an IT rifle? Yes, of course it is. That's a danger to the armored car. Hmm. Where do I put you? Did we kill off the enemy guns? We might have. Tank, move up. Move to the other one. Stop this madness here. No, there is still a gun over there. Multiple guns, actually. Tank. Maybe turn that way. Engage those guns. If possible. Two guns are still alive. I want these things taken out before they can cause any harm to my tanks. Well, that's nice that you're focusing on that guy, but I would rather you focus on that gun. Okay, so far so good. The enemy is pushing our right flank now. This is not good. This is not good. Left flank is still looking sketchy, to be honest. The enemy is now trying to advance towards the village. But with the tanks present, this should be stable enough that we can focus on other parts of the front. I think I need to employ these T-34s in the center here. Or I will need to do it pretty soon. Not yet. This is still holding. I will have to do it pretty soon though. I might take this T-26 and pull it up behind these forces that are inside the trenches. So that it supports them. Yeah, let's do that. You have to go over there. T-34s will continue without you. The armored car. I mean, what am I going to do with you? I mean, if possible, advance to this position. You will try to support these T-34s by making sure that no enemies are going through here. Keep their flanks secure. That's the least that you can do. Tank, can you please work on taking out this gun? Or oh, actually, you do have eyes on that one in the background, so engage it, please. You. Uh, you are just holding off the enemies for now, which is enough at the moment. It's okay. I'm running low on ammunition though, that's a problem. That really is a problem. Let's see, objective changed. Okay. How do you suppose you pull that one off? Friendly AI is deciding to hold that position over there. Ambitious. That's ambitious. Don't know if it's healthy ambition. Actually, I don't think it is, but... Ambition is often rewarded. Okay, when the other two T-34s arrive, then... I don't know. Okay, these guys are now retreating as well. So we are losing our infantry support here. For these tanks. We need to... Holy hell, what was that? Retreat! Did you see that? That's a big one. I'm quite sure that's a big one. Big ass anti-tank gun on that ridge over there. We turn fire, if possible. What the hell was that? Now that, my dear friends, did look like a 5cm gun. I have to be a bit careful. Okay. Good to know. Very good to know. What the hell? Are you... I mean, I knew this thing is gonna be useless, but 
I did not expect it to be this useless. A tank flipped it. I mean, at least he had the decency to flip it upside down again, and the crew might recover it. We will see. But I need these other two T-34s to support up here. They could try to go up this way and put pressure on these remaining enemy guns. I think that sounds like a plan. I'll have you guys move here and then you're gonna turn in and move here. And from there we'll see. These T-34s are heroes. Heroes that are running low on ammunition. Okay, what about these tanks? I feel that these tanks could try to push in these enemies. But I'm not sure. Kinda don't want to do it without support. Okay, I have machine guns engaging these units. One of the tanks needs to come back and take out these machine guns. A push to break these units is out of the question then. We have to take care of those machine guns before they start to decimate my own infantry. Okay, apparently this tank is engaging towards that 5cm gun. No, not at the moment, they can't see each other. Okay, there was a shot fired by the gun. It's missing though. It's not easy to hit anything in these light conditions, I understand that. This is not looking good. Overall, this is really not looking good. If the enemy offers a ceasefire, I might just accept it. Because I'm not, I'm not breaking all of this. I'm simply not. I don't have the ammunition, the man, or anything really. Okay. The tank is being engaged and it's immobilized actually. How are you immobilized? You don't look immobilized. Let's see. Engine's broken. Let's see if we can reverse you. Damn it, this one too. Reverse. Track is damaged. But it's still okay to drive. It's not looking good. This tank is stuck. Yeah, the engine's out. And the gun is still engaging it. I mean, it is shooting back, but... The tank just can't spot them reliably. I need these two tanks to push up this flank. Maybe they can get some eyes on these things. Oh, this is not looking good. This really isn't looking good. How's the left flank looking? Do we have the tank in position to support... by dealing with these machine guns. Drive up here and fight those things if you're able to. Oh, the tank is moving! Okay, let's start to pull these two tanks back. First of all, face that direction where the guns are. And then continue to reverse. This tank finally has eyes on one of the guns. And 
it is shooting towards my tanks. Come on, dude, reverse. I told you to reverse, didn't I? Do it, please. Damn it, you're on the fire now, and I don't know from what. And I don't have command points. Where the hell are you going? No, 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 no. What? Stop right there. What the hell are you trying to do? You're not accepting orders anymore, are you? They're simply under fire from these 5cm guns. I mean, the T-34, he can endure some real harsh punishment. But there is an end to everything. Jesus Christ, okay. Tanks, turn, you're under fire. This is not going well. Reverse. Move backwards a bit. Need to get eyes on these monsters. Okay, you. I did tell you to engage those machine guns before they rip my guys to shreds, didn't I? I have command point problems. These are my flares starting to drop now. This would be a great opportunity to engage those machine guns. Tank, drive out there and go and deal with them. These two tanks, they are still holding. Pushing the enemy back. Drive closer to them. Keep hitting them. Maybe we can at least break the left flank of the enemy advance. That might allow us to do some miracle work here. I'm not a big fan of letting my T-34 sit here and take it. But honestly... I don't know if I'll be able to get them out. Let's see if this one can drive backwards. Okay, you're finally getting eyes on these guns that keep shooting at you. Please hit them. Okay, three guns on the move. There are three more... 5 centimeter guns in the background. And these two tanks, they are basically out of ammo. Yeah, they're down to machine guns. Yes. They're out of cannon ammunition. So that's a problem. Please, for the love of God, get yourself out of there. What the hell are you trying to do? Are you trying to recover your truck? Sure, try. Uh, by the way, speaking about trucks... No, these guys did not get back into their armored car. Actually, they are in a confrontation with enemies, which I do not want. Get them back to this house, where they can maybe hold out for a bit longer. This tank finally did drive forward to deal with the machine guns. Go and kill them. The enemy seems to be moving guns towards the left flank, probably to deal with this tank. Yeah, they are moving guns along the road. That relieves the pressure on the left flank a bit. Tank, turn in that direction, just in case take out those machine guns, I beg of you. Okay, 
how's the situation here looking? Are uh, you engaging targets on the right flank? Actually, I do not want that. So I will order you to engage stuff that is in front of you. Keep engaging what can be dangerous to you. And with those 5cm guns moving towards the left, these tanks are now in a... Well, at least a stable position. That's something. The enemy still keeps pushing this assault forwards. I think that's incredible. Also, this infantry squad here, this whole platoon, they have taken a beating. But I was aware that this would happen. They are out here on the flank. Yeah, they got destroyed. The machine guns probably did a lot of damage to them. It's just too many enemies. I honestly don't know how I would have... Um, even come to this point in the campaign without taking out so many enemy infantry units in the first two turns. No idea. Take these things out if you can. If you get eyes on them, please kill them. Jesus Christ, it's now really dark. I'm still dropping flares, I think, on the right flank this time. Yeah, there come my flares, and they're actually in a good position to illuminate those pesky guns over here. So, this tank... I might send you forward on a little mission to see if you can get that thing. Drive up to there. And you will, you will, if possible, engage this, since it's being illuminated so nicely. This tank is actually engaging the 5cm guns in the background. That's good. I hope he gets a few good hits on them. My allied infantry on the right flank basically broke completely. The enemy is pushing through. I don't even know where they are. They, they can't be all dead, right? I'm losing this campaign. But honestly, up until this point, well, apart from that fiasco with the T-50s in the last battle, I don't know what else I could have done. I have the feeling that this campaign is, or has until this point, progressed very well with a lot of dead enemies. But they just keep bringing up more. And units that I thought were destroyed are reforming behind the lines. That's crazy. Dude, can you see that gun? Yes. You should be able to see it. Kill it. Take out the support weapons and the enemy infantry might run. Keep driving forward, in fact. There's a truck. Is there really a truck? Yeah, there's a truck. The tank is gonna engage it. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke screens being deployed by the enemy infantry. They're screening off their forces, I see that now. That's of course helping. And it's getting dark, which makes it hard for the tanks to find targets.
you go and get him. You go and get him. Okay, the flare drops ceasefire. Okay, let's think about this. How are we positioned? How are we situated? I have tanks running out of ammunition. They are basically useless at this point. I have... What, what's going on with you? You're intact, you're just... out of ammunition. And you're getting slowly but surely swarmed by infantry and you're turned sideways to... what might be an unhealthy amount of guns. Yeah, I'm accepting this ceasefire. My allied infantry, they have been smashed to bits. We are taking this ceasefire. We are ending the battle right here. I hope that I've done enough damage here to disrupt the enemy formations so that they won't be able to continue this advance any further. But at this point of the battle I feel that we just need to pull back. So let's see what happens. Two, one, there we go. Casualties, 147 versus 181. So at least we are killing more of them than they are killing of us. That's something. If we look at the achievements, yeah, okay. That's pretty, pretty gnarly all in all. I have lost a lot of forces. Uh, a lot. That's really a lot. The enemy casualties, they don't look so terrible. I have lost whole platoons here. That's the problem. Yeah, I basically lost 56% of my force. Weighted platoons, that means it takes into account um, the firepower that you bring to the table, not just the amount of men. And the enemy has lost 50% of his force. Uh, 40%, sorry. Hmm. Let's check the battlefield really quick and see what was going on here with my tanks. Let's take a look at each tank separately, in fact. Um, here they are. Let's first take a look at the allies. Artillery battery commander, he died. Not good. Oh, scout platoon, horribly decimated on the right flank. They are basically gone. Didn't contribute much. What do we have here? Artillery, F-22 guns. Um, they are still kind of okay. That's something at least. Here we have a Sapper platoon, engineers, gone completely. That was the right flank. The counter-attack towards the cemetery. Everybody died. Jesus Christ. Recon platoon. Dead. Lost. Where exactly? Center. Yeah, you guys were a bit far forward. Okay. Another Sapper platoon. Mostly dead. Also right flank near the cemetery. And I have a few more guns. I guess that's the left flank. Yeah. Left flank that was holding on. They are still okay-ish. Now let's take a look at my tanks. Command tank. Damaged. Shot at by God knows what. Um, let's see. 3.7 centimeter guns have shot it into the side. They did not do any damage. They even fired high explosive at you. Didn't help. The 5 centimeter guns engaged you from the front though. And I can see that the loader was wounded by one of the hits. Side were damaged. And this hit here wounded the driver damaged the engine and the fuel... Oh, you're out of fuel. Your fuel tank is pierced. Completely out of ammunition and out of fuel. Yeah, this thing, there was... That's the reason why we were not able to retreat this tank. It's out of fuel. Don't know how we'll get you running again. 
What about you? You are completely out of ammunition. 3.7 centimeter guns took a few shots at you. Didn't achieve anything. Looks like the 5 centimeter guns left you alone. Good. Armored car. I mean... I mean, this thing wouldn't have done much, but... Nah. T-34, you came to support on this flank. You received some hits from just machine guns? Yeah, it's just machine guns. Where exactly are you? Yeah, you are here. Okay. You still have some ammunition. This one, let's see. It's perfectly okay. Just a few machine gun hits. Nothing that can damage the tank. And you little thing... You were hit by one machine gun round, but nothing else. That's something. Now, the tank company that was, uh, the tank platoon that was on the left flank. Perfectly fine, but running really low on ammunition. All of them. Yeah, I think this one, this is the one that I sent to deal with the machine guns. I think somebody did take some shots at you, right? No. You were lucky. Okay. What else? Commander, he's alive and well. Something good. The artillery observer, he's alive and well. But here we come to the platoon that was tasked with defending the left flank. And basically most of them are dead. We have three men remaining here. We have two men remaining here. And two more men up here. And that's it. That's everything that's alive from this platoon. And if we look... Now we can't see how many they had initially. Okay. This platoon, you guys should still be in an okay condition. You were in the center. You still managed to lose three men here. I don't know to what. Probably just to small arms fire. You have seven men, but you are terribly low on ammunition. Seven men here, out of ammunition. They have nothing left. Terribly low on ammunition. Yeah. I am so pulling back from this village. You guys are... Well, okay. Okay-ish. And now let's see what the enemy brought to the table. What are you? Infantry company commander. Still alive, I see, huh? What a shame. What else did they have? 7th company, 2nd platoon. Just infantry. A lot of them actually died. That's good. Some trucks. They lost some of those. That will reduce their mobility. They had engineers. Pioneer squads. Those were just advancing in the center when the battle ended. Uh, I guess there's a lot of them here that we cannot see at the moment. Because they were outside of our field of vision. Yeah, they are still mostly fresh. Not good. Machine gun. Oh my god, that's a whole machine gun platoon. Well, and they still have some. Some of them took losses. This one, for example, will need 8 hours to be repaired. So we are rid of that one for a while. This one was abandoned. This one's ready. Okay. And a bunch of trucks. They have a very mobile force. More pioneers. They advanced in the cemetery area. Now, I guess the cemetery... It really is becoming one. There's a lot of dead guys in here. They took light losses, I would say. It's a shame. I would have liked to kill more of them. What do we have here? More infantry. Uh, they were still in the back lines. I don't think they took terrible losses. And here we have AT guns. Pack 38. 5 centimeter guns. These are the little... Troublemakers that, well, I don't think these guns per se were present in the battle with my T-50s, but guns just like these. Or maybe it was these guys. No, there's too many of their crew left alive. They are not from the previous battle. 
So they have even more of these things. Nice. They will be troublesome to deal with. Telephone and cable squad has taken some losses, so I appreciate that. Anything that we do. Oh my god, how many enemies did we face? More infantry. Yeah, I think the enemy has just brought so many more forces to this battle than we have. More pioneers. But these ones took losses. These ones took a serious beating. Where were they? Uh, is this left flank? Okay. Yeah, you were defeated by the tanks, most likely. Artillery battery commander. He's unfortunately still alive. Shame, really. A whole platoon of anti-tank guns. I don't know what I'm facing here. I suspect these might be pack 36s so just the small anti-tank guns. What do we have here? Mortar section. What else? Another infantry company. Have, has taken some losses, considerable ones actually. Uh, another commander with telephone and cable. More pioneers who have taken some losses. They were employed on the right flank towards the cemetery. Even more infantry. These ones did take some losses. More pioneers. Jesus Christ. How many of them do they have? What do we have here? Machine guns. And more anti-tank guns. Let's have a quick look at those. Okay, this gun lost two crew members. But three guys is actually enough to operate this gun. Effectively. We have another gun which needs to be repaired with only two men alive and a repair time of 10 man hours, they will have this thing fixed in five hours. And one that has been abandoned, That's, that thing is smashed up. They are not recovering this. And another one, which is completely fine. Oh, damn it. And even more pioneers. Pioneers are bad news for me because pioneers can deal with tanks if they get close. As we have seen in the first battle, where pioneers uh, disabled one of my T-34s with mines. Okay, that was the battle. Let's go back to the operational phase and see what happened on the operational map. Okay, defeated one squad. But other than that, we are just holding the line against a lot of enemies. At this point there is there is nothing gained by staying here. Yes, we are keeping control of this victory point, but I'd rather lose the victory point than my units. I need to pull back towards friendly lines, see if I can recover some ammunition, we are my forces, and then Maybe once some of the enemies advance this way and some other enemies advance that way, we can destroy them piecemeal or something like that. But this here is not going to work. I'm retreating from this position in the next turn. But that's something for next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any idea what I might have done differently from the start of this campaign on up until now, please let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate your input on this. Because I think we have some bright minds among my viewers. And, well, I still can learn some things. So, please do so. Okay, until next time, have some great days and goodbye.